हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल इन टूडेज क्लास आई टीच यू एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग लैब एज यू नो ऑलरेडी दिस इज पार्ट बी प्रोग्राम दैट मीन्स इट कैरीज मो मार्क्स फॉर यू इन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जामिनेशन दैट मीन्स इन टूडेज लैब ऑल्सो यू आर गोइंग टू डेवलप ऑन सॉफ्टवेयर You are going to develop one program. That is to find square root of the entered number. Square root of the entered number. That means whenever we run a program or the software, that software will ask you to enter the number to be find square. If I give the input as four, I need to get the output like this. Square root is two. This program you need to write and get this output. Other expected outcomes I have written for you here. Other than four, if I give the input as hundred, I am going to get the output as ten. If I give the input as three, according to the given input, I am going to get the square root of three also. If the given input is negative, then the appropriate message will be displayed by that program. Like negative number, the program completes. this program you need to write then how to write this program before writing this program i read the aim objective of this experiment given by the university develop a program that means you need to write one program means develop one software to find the square root of a given number n means that program will take one number as well as that needs to give us square root and execute for All possible inputs. Give the even number. Give the odd number. Give the negative number. Like that, that program needs to work for all possible inputs. That program needs to display appropriate messages also. But condition is that do not use library function, as we know already in math or H S Q R T is available. If I give four, I get two. If I give three, one point seven three, I get. Don't use it. write the program for that and how to write the program it is very easy first as well we include the standard input and output header file then uh, stdlib.h in this program we are using stdlib.h why because i am using exit function here exit function will stop the program terminate the program exit is available in stdlib.h at what time the program stops If the entered number is less than zero, that means if the entered number is negative, assume that I give minus five. Minus five is less than zero. Yeah, entered number is negative. Program will wait. Then the program stops. If you are working with Turbo C, use Get Ch. If you are working with Ubuntu, no need to use it. Get Ch tells us to wait to get one input. That's all. You may use or you may not. Better use it. Means if the entered number is negative, we get this message: program stops. So we added stdlib dot h. Then how to find the square root of four, or how to find the square root of hundred, how to find the square root of three? What is the logic? First of all, I explain you the logic behind finding the square root of a number. Take any of the number, for example, hundred. Definitely, the square root of hundred will be in between zero and hundred only. Where will be the square root of four? Definitely in between zero and four only. Where will be the square root of three? In between zero and three only. This is the logic. That's why we take min as zero, max as num. Means definitely we find the square root of the entire number between this range zero and that number itself. That's why we take min equals to zero, max equals to number itself. Once you store min equals to zero and max equals to num, what we do? Do you know? We find the middle value. For example, the enter number is four. What is the enter number? Four. That means min is zero, max is four. Understood? If the enter number is four, min is zero, max is four. Find the middle value. Middle value equals to min plus max divided by two. 
that means 0 plus 4 0 plus 4 4 4 by 2 that is 2 what is the mid value 2 mid is 2 multiply mid with mid only multiply mid with mid 2 into 2 product becomes 4 what is the product multiplication of the mid with mid only what is that 4 whether that product matches with number yeah product matches with number entire number is 4 product is also 4 if the product matches with number mid itself is the square root understood that's how what we do if product matches with number break already we know the use of break break helps us to exit the loop statement based on certain condition now we come out from while square root is mid what is that 2 we got the result I explained you one of the possibility still I explain another two possibilities ok I hope you understood ok for example enter number is 100 if the enter number is 100 then what we do min equals to 0 <coughs> max equals to 100 then find the middle value 0 plus 100 100 100 upon 2 100 upon 2 is how much 50 then 50 into 50 how much 50 into 50 50 into 50 2500 whether 2500 matches with 100 no 2500 is more than 100 yeah 2500 is more than 100 if 2500 is more than 100 max we change previously max was 100 now I change that I will reduce the max now I will reduce that max as how much 50 first I assumed it as 100 but now I reduced it to 50 again while continues ok then uh, min plus max min is 0 0 plus 50 0 plus 50 50 50 upon 2 ok 50 upon 2 50 upon 2 is 25 25 into 25 ok something 25 into 25 some value we get something matches with number no something is more than number yeah something ok definitely it is more than number max becomes mid again we changed max into 25 what we did first max was 100 second time max was 50 now third time max is 25 again 0 plus 25 25 25 upon 2 12.5 ok 12.5 into 12.5 something something is greater than that yeah again max becomes 12.5 like this the process repeats somewhere we are going to get 10 whenever we get 10 10 into 10 100 100 matches with that one yeah break takes place means square root of 100 is 10 I hope you understood I explained you two possible outputs one is simple one 4 one more is 100 if we give the input as 4 this condition becomes true if I give the input as 100 max was changing up to now how I explained now I give one more example in which min changes see here if the given input is 3 now if the given input is 3 what happens min is 0 max is 3 0 plus 3 0 plus 3 how much 3 0 plus 3 3 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 is 1.5 1.5 into 1.5 how much ok 1.5 into 1.5 how much see here I open the calculator for you ok 1.5 1.5 into 1.5 2.25 what is 2.25 ok next here 2.25 matches with this no 2.25 is greater than 3 no no means max will not change min changes min becomes 2.25 min becomes 2.25 once min becomes 2.25 max is still 3 2.25 plus 3 ok 5.25 5.25 into 5.25 something we get something matches with that no something is greater than that like this it repeats somewhere we are going to get 1.732051 which one mid 1.732051 into same value becomes 3 then break takes place square root of 3 is so and so 
this is what the simple logic the process of finding the middle and finding the product matching with product that might be greater than or that might be less than these things we repeat how many times at what time we are able to find the mid at what time we are able to find the mid do you know if max is lesser than min then only we are able to find if max is lesser than min then only we can find mid otherwise we cannot that's why I see the while condition here while max is less than min we get one value and that must be greater than zero that must be greater than zero but uh, instead of writing zero we have written 0 0.5 zeros then one why we have written 0 0.5 zeros then one why do you know already we know what is the accuracy supported by float, vari float variable can you tell me what is the accuracy supported by float variable six digits in fractional part always it maintains six digits in fractional part that means six digits means what instead of zero we go for 0 0.000000 five times then one that is what the range accuracy range supported by float variable in this program we are using all variables are of which type float type that's why instead of zero we take 0 0.00001 this software is having one limitation whatever the number we enter if the square root of that number is lesser than uh, more than this more than this then only we get it otherwise we won't get it that's why instead of writing max is max minus min greater than zero we have written like this i hope little bit you have understood not a little bit i hope everything you have understood very good i explain you the program entire program hash include std h hash include a, a standard lib dot h wide main float type variables are taken num helps us to store the entire number max is for upper bound min is for lower bound to find the middle value to store the multiple multiplied value we read a number we assume lower bound as zero upper bound as number itself if the entire number is negative program stops otherwise if max less than min greater than so and so we find the middle we multiply we store the product if products matches no problem we got the result if it is greater than max we change if the product is less than mid changes result will be made the program completed i hope everyone has understood okay very good you can trace by taking paper also in observation notebook or in journal in one page write the aim in the next page write the program in the new page write all possible four outputs and show to your teachers. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.